morning. Nice day. It's supposed to be hot though. Absolute favorite creamer. Anything with coconut in it wins me over. New natural stevia. One pack will do ya. So delicious. So good morning. Welcome to the start of my day, which as you're noticing is a bit on the later side. I work late. My newscasts normally don't air until 10 o'clock, but since we're in the middle of Olympics, we're not starting until about 1030 or 11. So I try to grant myself the grace of a good night's sleep. And that sometimes means waking up at 1030 in the morning. It sort of shifts things down a little bit. I love to start my day with a good coffee. You saw the coconut creamer. Happy to say there are only 15 calories per tablespoon, no sugar, and only one gram of fat. And I love uh, the new natural stevia packet that I use in my coffee. One packet's the equivalent to two teaspoons of sugar. Between these two, I'm good to go. Um, I'm also a big believer in intermittent fasting. For me, my target window is between 16 to 18 hours. In this case, I had dinner last night at eight o'clock. 16 hours would be, would be noon. So anywhere from say noon to one o'clock, my first meal of the day, which is always a breakfast type meal because I do love breakfast food. I just like to eat it at lunch. <laughs> That's just my thing. I'll see you back then, but in the meantime, uh, time to get on with the day. Okay, let's see what's going on in this world while we listen to leaf blowers. <laughs> Good Monday morning. Ah, it's the hubs. Hello. Hey. Hey, how are ya? Good. What are you doing? I'm, doing? I'm good. Well, I came here at 7.30. Wow, that's early. Yeah. Uh, hey, can you just make sure to let that leaf guy into the house so we can make an estimate? Oh, oh, the gutter guy. What time does he come? One o'clock. Yes. I think it's $99 down. I saw an ad, interesting enough, this morning on TV, I saw an ad for him. You got gutter on the brain. <laughs> Well, since the gutter guy is coming at one, I'm not gonna have time for a yoga class today. So I better finish this and head on out before it gets too hot outside to get my walk in. So we'll go tackle that next. I love the brush on powder sunscreen for the face, especially when it's, you know, 90 plus degrees outside and you get sweaty and greasy enough. I just don't like all that goopy sunscreen on my face or neck. Have you noticed? It follows me wherever I go. <laughs> Got my earbuds. Bud, let's get going. One last thing. Let's get it. Y'all, this walk could not have happened any later. It's 10 till one. I know gutter guys should be here at any minute. It must be 95 degrees outside. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in some calisthenics before he gets here. Just on a bench. All you need is a bench, that's it. Oscar likes to hang out with me when I do these. It's simple, kind of a mix between 
old school calisthenics, some Pilates and some yoga. So I just do some tricep dips, about 20. Some seated crunches. And then stuff that I do in yoga, similar. Knee to the nose, kick it out. Knee to right elbow, kick it out. Knee to left elbow, kick it out. Do that 10 times on each side. Standard kicks into the air. 20 each side. Then some plies. You did a good job. Good job. Oh, it's hot. Let's go inside. Earned this meal, it's time to eat it. Okay, so the first meal of the day, what does that look like for me? I'm in Texas, so it must involve avocado. <laughs> I love avocado toast, I make it myself. I use the Ezekiel Seven Sprouted Grain Bread, it is flourless. I will say it does have wheat in it though, for those of you trying to avoid, that's just a heads up but one slice has roughly 80 calories. I'm not a calorie counter. I just base it on how I feel. So I'm going to do an avocado toast with, I already have pre-mashed avocado with the pits in it to help prevent it from oxidizing. I have eggs from my local farmer's market. Look, different colors. So I have to decide what color I'm feeling like today. Um, I am dairy free, so I love the Kite Hill plant-based butter. I think it's an excellent product. And I eat my fruit in the morning. So I've got some chopped up cantaloupe and honeydew. That's on the menu for breakfast, really lunch. perfect after a hot walk today. It's so refreshing. Let's eat. Oh, I love, I love breakfast food. I could eat breakfast food any time of the day. It makes me happy. And what I love about this is I feel like I'm getting everything in my first meal. I've got some protein, healthy fats, some grains, and my fruit. It is about 1.30. It's a little later today. Mm. I wish you were here joining me. It's so good. I'd make this for you. Okay, so after brunch, my next step is to take my supplements. By the way, everything will be listed in the description portion of the video for you from food, supplements, outfits, sunscreen, you name it. Any kind of thing that I'm using that you might be curious about, I promise to put it in there. My supplements really focus on immune boosting, as you can imagine these days. So it's high potency vitamin C, vitamin K, which goes with vitamin D3, a probiotic, zinc, and iodorol for thyroid health. Down the hatch. So I have just enough time for a quick splash and a cool down before I've got to get ready for work. Last woman in. Over. 
Brazilian blowout protective thermal straightening balm. Yes, it's August in Houston and yeah, I need some heat. So let's bring it. I saved the lips for last because I want to go down and grab a quick bite before I head out to work. So this is just a quick get something in my stomach before I head out. I've got leftover roasted chicken that I bought at my grocery store. And there's the chicken, organic roasted chicken. And I've also had leftover zucchini, green beans, that were prepared with the um, Kite Hill butter and garlic and onion. So I'm just going to do a little bit of chicken, a little bit of beans and zucchini and head out. I don't know, about that much. It should do it. Looks like about a three ounce portion of protein and you know, good handful of veggies. I will be eating at warp speed because I've got less than 30 minutes to get out of here but I want to get something in my stomach because dinner won't be until seven o'clock tonight. Mm. Okay, let's go to work. open for business. So this is my go-to snack when I get to work. I've got the munchies. I'll just do like a handful and it's enough to satiate me and get me to dinner. Final touches. I always bring my favorite, a buy drink out on set with me, uh, just to have something to hydrate. And I just, as you know, I love these. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding them. They're selling out in stores. So I, maybe you love them too, I don't know. This story on our homepage is getting a lot of attention tonight. You will see that at the top of click2houston.com. Nearly a month after a teenager was killed in a deadly road rage shooting at an Astros game, a suspect is finally in custody. Okay, it's dinner time and I am hungry. Let's eat. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. It's good. And this is a lot. So this big thing was a spicy shrimp bowl. It's kind of like a salad with a dressing, cabbage, carrot, shrimp, apple. It's good. Well, I need a little more substance. So, so I think a little chicken helps me out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's got sweet potato, quinoa, mm -hmm. and then there's kale and, and broccoli. Kale. Yeah. But there's a little mustard sauce in there too. That, I think it said on the menu, 750 calories. This was 400 because there's more salad than anything. 
Honey, aren't we in Texas? I'm ready for an 18-ounce steak. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> but you're eating healthy. I am. I feel good. I mean, there is sacrifices that bring good things. So obviously we devoured that. And if I'm craving something oh, more, <laughs> a little sweet, I don't know if you've ever had these, but these Lenny, Lenny? Lenny and Larry's cookies? I think that's what it says, the complete cookie. It's a vegan cookie, protein, plant-based, um, 16 grams of protein. Anyway, they've got a multitude of flavors. We've eaten through every one. This is peanut butter, and you wanna split it? I need to, okay. There you go. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you can't take more. <laughs> Okay, so after devouring half of my cookie, here I am back at work now, getting ready for our late news, which like I said, is on at 10.30 because of the Olympics. But I wanted to leave you with some takeaways, some notes basically by the end of the day. The first one is, if you saw my previous What I Eat in a Day video, which aired two years ago, you'll probably notice a difference in that the amount of food that I ate back then was a lot more than what I'm eating now. And it's for a couple of reasons. Number one, I find that I just can't consume as much food. A, I'm not as hungry. B, I don't burn it off fast enough. And C, it impacts my digestive tract. So, and it is probably a big part of going through menopause. You just don't need as much food to feel good and to be at an optimal uh, body mass index and, and all of that. So I'm eating less for sure, but just as healthy. The other things that I try to avoid for a majority of the time, those are all the whites basically, the flour, the sugar, the dairy, the rice, the breads, uh, alcohol. At a minimum, I'll have maybe two to three glasses a week. And that's simply because my body doesn't like alcohol. It doesn't metabolize it well. And it's a sleep disruptor for me. And you know how we menopausal women are when it comes to our sleep. Nothing's going to get in the way. So I've even had to cut back on that too to feel good. So those are some of the big changes that, I, that I've made. But I would say that what you have seen today is about 80 to 90% of the equation. Does that mean that I open things up for a wedding cake when I'm at a wedding? Absolutely, you know that's my favorite dessert. I'm the first in line to go get it. Or if I'm in Italy, do you think I'm turning down a fresh cheese pizza? Heck no. So you have to live and I wanna live and I wanna enjoy and have experiences. I love the phrase, I eat to live. I don't live to eat, which means that I'm in control. I'm in the driver's seat and food is a form of nourishment. Eating healthy satiates me. It makes me feel good, but I also give myself some grace and some space to have moments to enjoy and to celebrate those and to love those and not punish myself for those. Food should never be a battle. It should never be a mind game. It should always be seen as a source of fuel to enable you to be your best self. So I hope that my meal plan and kind of a day in the life that really incorporated a lot of different things. It was food, it was lifestyle, it was sleep, it was exercise. It was all the things that I really try to fit in a day to be able to feel my absolute best. And I love having this platform just to be able to open it up and share it with you. As you know, I love your ideas and suggestions. You all have your own way of doing things, some of which may align with mine and some may be completely different, but please put it out below, whatever it is that makes you feel healthy and well and that you wanna share with the community. Also, I encourage you to be with me on social media because I share with you in different ways there during the week, Instagram and Facebook specifically. And if you haven't subscribed and become a part of this community, I really hope that you do so. I hope this video inspired you to feel connected to me and to the women on this platform because I do feel it's a sacred and a special place. So with a healthy lifestyle, go out, be bold and be blessed. And I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye-bye. News time.